So a war of words today at the Minnesota State Capitol. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry took on Minnesota House Republicans who presented a series of proposals to combat crime. Here's Esme Murphy. Inspire city leaders. At the Republican News Conference on Public Safety, a shout out could be heard. Uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul both refused requests from their police chiefs to increase the number of sworn officers in their last budgets. Not true. That not true was from Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry, who listened as lawmakers said their constituents are scared of crime in Minneapolis and St. Paul. A grandfather had this complaint about light rail. There was an argument that almost resulted in a major fight. And he was very disturbed that he put his granddaughter in safe in, in harm's way and will not be riding the light rail anymore. Republicans were joined at the podium by Minneapolis Police Union President Lieutenant Bob Kroll. Mayor Fry fired back at Republicans for trying to micromanage decisions about deploying officers on the street. That is an issue that chiefs throughout our state and mayors uh, should be dealing with, not uh, some. Uh, legislative Republican entity from an ivory tower dictating how local towns and cities should be operating. The Republican proposals include increased funding to combat drug crimes, increasing law enforcement on light rail, and toughening penalties for illegal possession of a firearm. You wouldn't know it from the bickering, but both Mayor Fry and Republican House leaders say public safety is a nonpartisan issue, an issue both sides seem ready to leverage this election year. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter says he's happy to work with legislators, but he wants a universal background check on gun sales to, quote, stop the illegal guns into our communities before crime is ever committed. Keep watching WCCO on TV and online for continuing coverage of the 2020 session.